We're gonna wrap up these seven simple and easy lessons on prayer by talking about the most common barrier to answered prayer. I've identified six common barriers to answered prayer in my own life, and perhaps in the future, we'll create a whole series of lessons on those six common barriers. But the most common barrier to answered prayer is unbelief. Scripture states this truth plainly. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For those who come to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. That's Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. I'm going to use a story to illustrate how this truth works in our prayer lives. Several years ago, my daughter Kaylee, who was 10 at the time, was playing in our backyard pool with my son TJ, who was nine. I was working in the backyard, sort of keeping one ear to the kids in the pool and, and enjoying the fact that I could get some work done while they seemed to be playing pretty well together. Well, as it turned out, TJ had both pool toys. There was a ball and a torpedo. And I heard Kaylee say to her brother, TJ, it's not fair for you to have both of the toys. I want one of them. I heard TJ diplomatically respond, so which toy do you want? And Kaylee said, well, I want the torpedo. Of course, I was eager to hear how this was gonna work out. And TJ gave her the ball. While I was about to step in, I'm like, TJ, she specifically asked for the torpedo. And instead of TJ answering me, Kaylee answered me, and this is what she said. Oh, mom, I knew he would give me the ball, and that's what I really wanted, so I asked for the torpedo. <laughs> worked out for her in the pool that day, but I got to thinking about that particular situation and I thought about what Kaylee knew about the character of her brother played into the way she made her request of him. And I thought about the fact that when we pray, what we genuinely believe about the character of God and even the extent of our belief that God will answer us when we pray impacts the way we pray. Consider some of our prayers. Lord bless the missionaries. What does that mean? How would we know if God answered that prayer when he did? Another prayer, oh God, bring glory to yourself through my life. Another hard to measure, kind of general and out there prayer. Could it be that we pray those kinds of prayers because we have that kind of faith? We have a faith that's big and general and kind of mystical, but not real and honest and practical. God urges us to pray prayers that are honest and practical and measurable, prayers where we can identify the answers when they come. For many years, I struggled with the purpose of praying being for God to answer our prayers. I stopped short of that. I began to think that the purpose of prayer was really for God to change me more into the image of Christ. And that, of course, is a purpose of prayer because if when we come to pray, if anybody needs changing, it's certainly me and not God. He's perfect. I'm not. There is plenty to be done in me to shape and form me into the image of Christ. And a part of this adventure of a prayer life is learning how to be shaped and formed into the image of Christ. But the purpose of prayer goes further than that. It's almost like I set out for a trip to London and I made it to Amsterdam and didn't really know how to get on to London. So I decided that Amsterdam must be the place for me to stay. Well, I'm here to encourage you that God genuinely wants you to get on to London, to get on to that place where we understand that when we pray, God definitively wants to answer our prayers. If you're not at that place in your prayer life yet, you need to continue working through these simple and easy steps to get to that place where you are confident that God hears you when you pray and that he's eager to answer those prayers when you come to him in faith. Unbelief is what stands between us and God's beginning to answer the prayers that we pray. Paul wrote to the believers in Rome, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? God has so much in store for your life. God is for you. 
And if God is for us, who can be against us? Here's your prayer action, your action plan for this week. That prayer that you printed on the card and placed on your refrigerator, the one that you've been walking past and saying, how much more? I want you to take that prayer off your refrigerator this week. And I want you to turn that card over and on the back, I want you to pray, to write out a prayer of thanksgiving, thanking God for answering that prayer. And by doing that, you are stepping into the realm of hope. You know what hope is? Hope is going ahead and borrowing the joy of the victory on the battlefield today. Go ahead, thank God for the answer of that prayer. And then invite the Holy Spirit to give you the ability to believe that that which you've committed to the Lord has been entrusted to Him and that He will answer it in time, in season, exactly when it's right to do so. Go ahead and be so confident of that answer that you can borrow the sense of victory that you'll have then and that you can have now. Write that prayer of thanksgiving on the back of your card. Put the card back on your refrigerator with that prayer of thanksgiving facing outward. As often as you go and you see your card, you read that prayer of thanksgiving. I want you to pray like the father of the demon-possessed boy prayed. When he met Jesus and Jesus said, what do you want me to do? And the father said, please heal my son if you can. Jesus said, if I can, anything is possible to him who believes. And what did the father pray? He said, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. You see, you can even pray for the faith to believe, to overcome unbelief. So every time you see that card in your refrigerator, I want you to say this, Lord, ha I believe, help thou my unbelief. And watch God increase your faith in the same way that he did it with that father. He helped his unbelief by answering his prayer. How cool is that? Unbelief is the most common barrier to answered prayer, but God himself will help you overcome your unbelief.